Just recently, Sheena Nova has made her way back to the platform. Well, I guess I shouldn't say back to the platform as she's still been back posting for a little while since her unaliving attempt. But this is not about that. Whatever mental issues that she's going through, I wish her the best because that is not a joke regardless who it is. Now, what I don't like and will never will like about Sheena Nova is that she still pretends to be the head of so-called the voice of uh, people who live in harsh climates, the Inuit group specifically. But never in her life has she shown any proof that she's grown up in those climates. Has she shown any proof that she's in those climates currently? And yet she still uses her platform to try and spread the idea that it's in within her right to use animals um, specifically seals and use their skins as garnets for herself um, even in her current video she's continuing to brag about the garnets and the products that her mom makes that are made from seal skin think of it as designer shoes but for inuit <laughs> it's this beautiful silapa made by my mom, of course. A silapa is a traditional Inuit garment. If you look closely into the details, you could tell. So this is absolutely disgusting. Just currently, uh, I'm actually in my car right now. And a freeze came upon me like, like I had no idea, right? And the last thing I would think to do in this moment is go out and buy a fur jacket that is made of a dead animal that is made of a seal that an animal had to suffer from. I live in harsher climates right now than Sheena Nova does living in her nice warm house that you can see in this video. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Shina Nova. Welcome to my home. Today I'm with Bella Direct Insurance to share with you five of my favorite things. Now she seems to be promoting a brand called Belair Direct. I did a little bit of research on this brand and all I could find was some reviews on Trustpilot. And it looks like this brand is under heat currently because recently they've raised their prices and it's crazy expensive and nobody can really afford it. Everybody's quitting it. So it looks like they tried to get a large influencer like Sheena to try and bring it back to life. But I don't know if that's going to do them any good. So Sheena took a large sum of money from this company, which I don't even think this company is supportive of the Inuit people. But I'm not sure that you'd have to do your research on that. But regardless, they offered Sheena some money to promote their brand. So Sheena Nova is promoting an insurance brand called Belair Direct. And Belair Direct has a lot of bad reviews right now. So I guess that's something that Sheena Nova wants to be affiliated with at the moment. But hey, if it pays up, it pays up. Back to the ethics. Uh, also, this is Niku, <laughs> my best friend. So I don't know if Sheena Nova does this on purpose to spark outrage at people, but just at the start of her advert, she mentions that this cat is her best friend. This beautiful animal with a nice fur coat, by the way, is her best friend. This animal matters because this animal is her best friend. But the seals that get murdered on behalf of her selfishness and her fetish desire to look good in their skin, they don't matter. But again, this cat is her best friend and this cat matters. The speciesism is already extremely clear in this video. She respects the life of a cat because she likes the species. She likes the household cat species. She doesn't give any craps about seals, wild seals. So therefore they are usable for the skin of her products that she sells on behalf that her mom makes. If that's not narcissistic, lack of empathy, self-obsession at its finest, tell me what is. But not least, my cummings that I keep in the freezer, and the reason why I keep my booze in there is because of the seal skin. If they stay out in warm temperature, the seal skin tends to shrink. So I leave it in my freezer to preserve them. So I wanna keep my shoe size, so. <laughs> These are my most expensive item that I own. These were beautifully made by well-respected Inuk artists. My mom actually gifted them to me for my graduation. And usually it comes with, yeah, you can call it a sock or a duffel. Everything is handmade. It's all made out of seal skin. You can also tell by the smell. So if they have a strong smell, that's when you know. It's some real stuff. In our culture, we traveled long distances to go hunting, and these are very lightweight. Inuit women are so talented and are so strong because it takes strength to make these. Think of it as designer shoes, but for Inuit. <laughs> the end of her video, what I really didn't like is how she's bragging about how she refrigerates her seal skin boots. So this just gives you and all of your viewers a reminder that you are in fact trying to preserve a dead body. You are putting these seal skin boots in the freezer and you've just admitted it because you're trying to preserve their dead body so that when you go out and you walk around in them that you think you can look better in them. You do not look good in the skin of beautiful animals. Fur will always be worn by beautiful animals and 
disgusting narcissistic people once again <laughs> my power bank is on 36 percent and my heater's right there i'm not running it at the moment because i'm really trying to save power and i don't know how long this freeze will last before i'm going to recharge this thing but at the moment i'm trying to stick it out and i'm definitely gonna have to run it as it's literally zero degrees i did not know how that happened the last time that i checked the weather today it was zero degrees but do you see my body drenched in the fur of dead innocent animals who wanted to live do you see me using me being in the cold as an excuse for me to go purchase the dead bodies of animals because you have a fetish going on in your sick mind that thinks that they look good on your body that and at that that it has to be real you have some sort of sick disease in your mind that thinks that when animal fur is real, it looks the best on you. You could do the absolute same garnets, whatever you want to do with fake silk fur. You could do it with fake fur. What would be the absolute biggest difference besides your sick disease in your head that would make you want to wear real silk fur, real animal fur, rather than just doing going with a, an alternative where an animal who does not have to get their skin taken off their back. Look, Sheena Nova is one of the biggest gaslighting morons on the internet one of the biggest ones and anyone who's really lived in harsh climates they are they have really lived that lifestyle of they have to they have to kill animals let's say they have to they they live in the, those arctic areas those cold areas where they don't have access to the internet there's no other option those people do not see sheena nova they don't know of her first of all but if they did they do not see her as the voice for their community because she's never lived that lifestyle She's never lived that lifestyle whatsoever. Anyways, y'all, this is the first video I've made in correlation to animal rights in a while. And that's because of things I've been dealing with in personal life. But if you want to see my personal account and what I'm doing at the moment, check the link in the description. My account is right there. You're going to see my account name. It's going to be the first thing in this description. And don't buy into the lies. You know, she's trying to preserve culture. She's trying to do this, that, or whatever.